So if you have been following me on the channel, you might know that I have been doing the Dauntless popularity test on this channel and uh, now is my time to rank this behemoth from worst to best. So yeah, this is Giro and welcome to ranking the behemoth from worst to best, of course in my opinion. And so yeah, without further ado, let's go straight into the ranking. And here we are in the tier maker, where I'll be ranking Dauntless Behemoth from worst to best. Basically, there are, there are gonna be five tiers, there's gonna be S, A, B, C and D tiers. So yeah, I'm gonna be ranking the Behemoth with three criteria. First is gonna be the how cool the Behemoth is, basically uh, how they look and stuff like that. Second is gonna be what their weapons and what their armor pieces are like. And for the third criteria, it's gonna be how annoying the behemoths are, or basically what their movesets are and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Firstly, we got uh, the Egoist, which is, uh, I would say, quite a normal behemoth. I would not quite. I mean, it's it's a legendary behemoth, of course, don't get me wrong. It's a cool behemoth, so, I mean, it's a, it's a cool behemoth. It's like a tree creature. Also, its uh, weapons and armor pieces are good sometimes. And, uh, I mean, it's not really that annoying, so I'm gonna be putting the Agarus in, let's see, should I put it in B or A tier? Hmm. I guess I'll put it in A tier, because it's a legendary behemoth, so that's that. Next up, we got Boreas, which is a frost behemoth. Uh, it's a normal behemoth, and I don't think it, it's, it's quite that cool, so... I think I'm gonna put that be, put Boreas on C or B, but I guess it has a really cool weapon unique ability, so... Yeah, I'm... Okay, first I'll put it on B, and then if uh, I want to change, I'll change it maybe C or something like that. Okay, next up, we got Sherog. Sherogs are really unique behemoth. I mean, they're quite boring sometimes, but also, I mean, they're cool. They're like, they're like fire lizards. Their movesets are also meh, I would say. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna think I'm gonna put Sherogs on C tier. And now Fenors. Damn. <laughs> if you haven't known, I've been like... I, I don't like this behemoth, I think this, this behemoth is the worst behemoth in the game by far and that's why I'm gonna put it on D tier, <laughs> so that's that. Next up, again, another very annoying behemoth here we got, we got Frostwolf. The Frostwolf is basically like a Frost Fenrir, which is very, very annoying, but uh, their weapons are really cool, they're very good if you wanna go for the shields type of build, so because of that, I'm gonna put it on C tier, for now, for now, but let's see. In the future if it goes maybe down a bit next up we got the frost uh, nasher i think yeah it's the frost nasher again another frost behemoth we got here i would say it's a normal kind of behemoth it's not like that high or i don't know it's like a bit bit here behemoth i don't know that's the nasher down next up we got scarn which is all oh, which is just deep form scarn again very mad behemoth very bit here behemoth i would say uh, it doesn't have any weapons, so that's a minus for this thing, so because of that, I'm gonna put it on C tier. Well, the Nasher doesn't all, doesn't have weapons too, so I guess I'll put the Nasher down too. Uh, and I would put the Scarn behind Nasher. Oh no, I've got the Frost Wolf at the end of C, yeah, that's that. Next up, now we're moving to the Shock Behemoth. We got the Trask, which is, again, it's a cool behemoth. It's like a Shock Lizard. Its weapons are not very good. It's like a it's like a nice starting uh, behemoth if you want to get their equipment. But I guess I'll put the Trask on B. It's not very annoying behemoth. You can easily defeat it. So that's it. I'm going to put it on B. Okay, next up, Embermane. It is another variant of, the, I mean, it's the original version of the Fenrors, these Frostwolves and Stormclaws and stuff and the behemoth like that. So because of that, Embermanes, I'll put it on B. Or should I put it on A? Because it's, I mean, it's a very cool behemoth. It's like a like a wolf with a rhino, rhinosaurus is horn or something like that, I don't know. So because of that, uh, because it's like one of the first behemoth and also it's a fire behemoth, these weapons are okay. Its movesets are pretty, I mean, you can interrupt it a lot of times, so that's why I'm gonna put it on A. Okay, next up, we got another blaze behemoth. We got the, what's called the... I don't know, it's the fire nature, I, I haven't, I, I completely forgot the name of it. Again, we got another Nasher variant, it doesn't have any weapons, nor it's not very interesting kind of behemoth, so that's why I'm gonna put it on C again, but I'm gonna put it uh, above or below the Defrost version. Hmm. I guess I'll put it above the Defrost Nasher because I think it has more of a like interesting movesets than the normal, not normal, the Frost version, so that's that. Next up, we got another variant, I mean these variants are, I mean, come on. Uh, again, we got the fr not the frost, the blaze cool shot, which is again very, very uh, I I mean very boring behemoth. So that's why I'm gonna put it on ahead of the frost wolf. 
Yeah, I'm gonna put three TNC because again, this, it doesn't have any uh, weapons. Its move sets are kind of meh. It's not that kind of like boring. So, so that's why I'm gonna put it on C. Next up, oof, oof, no, <laughs> flame bolt, flame burn, or is a curry again? One of the most annoying behemoth in this game. A lot of people don't like this behemoth, and I get why. And, uh, and, it, and it also doesn't have any weapons, keep in mind. Uh, it has a very annoying uh, playstyle, and for that reason, I mean, it's a very cool behemoth, don't, don't get me wrong, it's like a fire or bug, which, I don't know, it's, it's cool. But because of the movesets, the lack of weapons and gear, I think I'm gonna put it on the C, but I'm gonna put it on the uh, first uh, C, if I can, come on, please. Move the charm down. That's that. Next up, we got the normal nature, which I mean, it's not very interesting or cool behemoth at any. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna put it on C again, and I mean, we got a lot of C behemoth here, so I'm gonna put the frost wolf maybe down there uh, above the Fenor, of course. Okay, I think I'm okay with this kind of uh, tier now. Next up, we got Helium again, the first behemoth I think of the game. Uh, and it's also quite cool behemoth, it, it has, uh, I mean, some cool movements, but, I mean, the weapons for the Helen are, I mean, top tier, if, if you ask me, very cool and very good uh, weapons, and because of that, I think I'm gonna put the Helen on A, I mean, yeah, next to the Embermane and the Agarus. Okay, that's that. Next up, we got uh, the, f not the first, the third, uh, not the third, yeah, third uh, Terra. Uh, behemoth here, we got the Kerobek, again, very normal behemoth, uh, it has uh, interesting movesets, I mean, it's very easy to defeat, and its uh, weapons are okay, so because of that, everything is okay, I'm gonna put it in B. Next up, the Koshai, and interesting fact, Koshai was, was uh, at one time one of the most difficult uh, behemoth in the game, so also it has very cool and interesting movesets. For the weapons and gear, I would say the gears better than weapons because of the weapons you because of the weapons unique ability you have to basically like uh, stop fighting the behemoth for like four, se four seconds and after that you're gonna get like the, the attack damage bonus or something so that's why i'm gonna put the koshai on a tier but it's gonna be the third one yeah it's i'm gonna put the koshai above the helen because i think it's a way better behemoth than the helen next up Ooh, Melkarion, one of my most favorite behemoth, if not the most favorite behemoth in the game. And that's, be be I mean, it has very, very cool and very good uh, weapons. The gear is also very nice. Uh, its uh, movesets are very cool and it's, I mean, it's generally a very cool behemoth. It's like a flying sh uh, lightning dragon. I mean, what's better than that? So that's why I'm gonna put this on S tier. I mean, one of the first <laughs> S tier here, guys. And yeah. Um, I think I'm really happy with this kind of layout we got here going on. Next up, we got another shock behemoth. It's the Neizaga. Neizagas. Neizagas are also very interesting behemoth. Their weapons and gears are not very good, I would say. Even for the low tier builds, the beginner builds, I wouldn't go for the Neizagas uh, gear. I would base. I would more go with the Dresk Swan or other behemoth. So that's why. I mean the. Playstyle and the movesets of the Nezaga are pretty cool, I would say. The concept of the Behemoth is also very cool, so that's why I'm gonna put the Nezaga on B tier. Yeah, let's, yeah, I'm gonna put it on B tier, but above the Dresk, of course. I mean, I like the Nezaga's, uh, not Nezaga's, I like the Dresk's uh, weapons better and gear, but for the most part, the movesets and the look of the Behemoth, I would say the Nezaga is better. Next up, the Pangur. It, now, Panger is very interesting behemoth, behemoth because some would say the Panger is the face of Dauntless because uh, on the loading screens and, and stuff like that, the Panger is shown. Uh, the movesets are pretty, pretty, uh, very good. Uh, and the weapons, ooh, weapons are very good too because uh, the Panger Swan is basically. Which one is Panger's? Oh, yeah, Panger Swan is. Uh, I, I forgot the Panger Swan, damn. Okay, uh, Panger. Hmm. I would put in a B tier maybe. Or 8 tier. Hmm, I, I'll put in the next. I, I'll put it in A tier because I'll put it next to Helen because basically like these two are like the same. But the first one is the first one and the second one is the Hel uh, is the Blaze one. Okay, next up the Cool Shot, another natural behemoth which is not very interesting, not very cool, not very cool. Good. Uh, I mean, it's for if you if you want to go for the wounding kind of play style, I would uh, use the Cool Shot's weapons and stuff like that and gear. 
because of the wounds and wounding I would I'm gonna put in on B tier. Hmm, next up, very interesting behemoths, uh, Rezakiri. Rezakiris are very cool too. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this in 8, Rezakiris in 8 here. I'm, I mean, they are very annoying behemoths too, but they're cool. They have like the light abilities of the Radiant Behemoth. They also got uh, cool and good gear. If you ask me, maybe not like uh, armor gear, but the weapons are very, very good. They also give like uh, crit chance and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy to put it on A tier, but I'm gonna put it in maybe like a path alien and Panger, but below Koshai and Romain and Agurus. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Next up, the Roof Soccer. We got the Umbral right here. Uh, the movesets are also very, I mean, I mean, it's there. It's not very cool, I wouldn't say, but all in all, I will put it in B tier, the Roof Soccer. Next up, the Lightbound Koshai. Again, no weapons, no nothing. Mm, the movesets are very good, I would say. I really like the movesets of the Behemoth, but apart from that, it doesn't have any kind of cool... It doesn't look very cool. It's like a Boreas, but it has like some shiny parts on it. So because of that, I'm, again, I'm gonna put in a B tier, but I'm gonna put it last, maybe. Oh, not last, but I'm kidding. I'm gonna put the Quill Shot last on B tier. Next, they're gonna be Tresk. Yep, uh, Neizaga. Oh, why is Kerbeck so high? Damn. I'm gonna put it there. Boreas is high, very high. I don't know what, um, why is it there. I'm gonna put Boreas... Uh, not last, yeah. Okay, let's, let's do Boreas last and yeah, that's the order on the B tier. Next up, we got Shadow Touch, Neizaga. Again, no no weapons. It's a variant behemoth. Because of that, I'm gonna put it in C tier and I'm gonna put the Shadow Touch Tresk on... Uh, let's see. Okay, let's put it on behind the... Rosakuri and above the Cherok. Next up, again, we got another variant. Uh, we got Shadow Touched Koshai. Again, no weapons. Interesting movesets. Uh, I think it's a very B tier behemoth. Let me put it here, right here. Next up, we got Elyra. Elyra's are. Is it very recent? Yeah, it's a very recent kind of behemoth. But also, Elyra's have very cool weapons and gears uh, and, and uh, armor pieces. But all in all, it's a very cool behemoth too. It has a very cool and very interesting moveset. That's why I'm gonna put it in A tier, above uh, Koshai. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Next side, Lightbound Koshai. Again, another variant. So, you know what happens to variants. They are in C tier. But above the Cherok, maybe. Yeah, let's put it above Cherok. Now, Savits. Savits, if you don't have any legendary uh, Malkarian gear, Savits weapons are by far the best weapons in the game. If you wanna go for the Shock builds, or generally any build, the shock weapons and the savage weapons are very good. Also, the armor pieces are very good. The, I mean, the play style and move sets are sometimes very annoying. But but if you know the move sets and if you dodge right, it's very, I mean, easy fight. Also, the concept of the behemoth is very cool. It's like a bug with the laser build, not the laser, the shock abilities and stuff like that. And that's why I'm a little, I'm a little bit, I'm, I'm a little bit biased for the shock behemoth. But it's gonna be another S tier, but behind the Malkarian, of course. Next up, the shadow version of the Neizaga. Again, another what's called the variant behemoth, and that's why I'm gonna put it in C tier, of course. But uh, above the. Yeah, I'm gonna put it above the Nashors and all those behemoth. Next up, Shrike. I'm gonna put it in B tier because it's one of the first behemoths, so that's why I'm gonna put it on C B tier. Okay, Shrouds. Shrouds are like a very cool behemoth now. Their movesets are very cool. Uh, but their weapons and gears, I mean, their gears, gear is OP, but their weapons are not, if you don't know how to play the, uh, them well, it's very hard, but all in all, I would say, I think Shroud is our, another S tier contender here. Yeah, I would say I'm gonna put it Shroud here, there. Now, Skarns. Skarns, I think, are another B tier behemoth. I'm gonna put Skarns here. Scraves, again, another B tier behemoth, I'm gonna not say that much. Uh, Cherok, Sports Rock, C tier. No need to ask any questions as talk a lot. Stormclaws, Stormclaws are B tier behemoth too. Chronovores are S tier. And if you want to argue with me, argue with me. But by Chronovore is by far one of the best behemoth in the game. Thrax, again, very cool behemoth, but I'm gonna put it in A tier. I don't think it, it gets the spot of the S tier. Next up, the Togodaro. Now, some would say Togodars are not very cool, but I think the Togodars are very cool. It's like a fire monkey, bro. It's a fire monkey. It's very cool. Its weapons are also very cool. It's a legendary behemoth, and that's why it's gonna be in S tier. Next up, the Orska. 
I don't really like Orcs, because you know, I want to put in B tier, above like the best B tier, but uh, yeah. I mean, their weapons and stuff like that is cool, but all in all, the movesets, I don't really like the movesets. Uh, the concept is cool, but not cooler than, than, than these guys. Pelomirs, C tier. Phalanx, again, S tier. Argue with me, one of my favorite, one of the most, one of my favorite behemoth in the game. I really like the behemoth a lot. And now, the Shadow Touch Tresk, our last, uh, not Shadow Touch, the Thunder Tresk, our last behemoth of this tier. And I think the proper way for the Tresk is gonna be D tier. <laughs> because a lot of people don't like the Tresk. The start the Thunder Tresk version of it. So yeah, this is the tier for my best behemoth uh, from best to worst, from S to D. And yeah, this is my opinion. If you want, if you're gonna change some things, let me know down in the comments down below. And yeah, this has been Gyura, and I'll see you guys next one. Peace.